Hi, my name is Jonathan Hafchuk with Symbol Syndication, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the GoPro Hero 5. First thing I'd like to touch on is the settings. So the settings are pretty much identical to the GoPro Hero 4. It shoots 4K at 30, just like the Hero 4, and it shoots as low as 720 at 240 frames per second. It also shoots 1080 at 120, which is great. The burst mode on it also works great. It shoots 30 photos per second, which is pretty cool. It's pretty fast shutter speed. Uh, here are some examples of those. One of the new advantages to it is the microphones. It has three microphones and it picks which ones to use to reduce wind noise. So for sports like snowboarding or downhill mountain biking, this can be advantageous. We did a test and it's not amazing. You can still hear quite a bit of wind, but the vocal and the audio quality is quite good on it and much better than the four was in the waterproof case. There's a little bit of wind, so we're testing the camera to see the noise reduction built within the camera. Is that okay? Is yep. that what you want? Yep. Test, test. Crazy. But you can hear my voice. What if I talk really quietly? One of the big things I noticed about this camera is the battery life. The batteries seem to last a lot longer than any of the batteries I've had for the GoPro Hero 4. Uh, even the battery that came with the 4 didn't seem to last very long. One of the really cool features about the 5 and the, one of the ones that really makes it stand out is that it's waterproof without a case. So I'm a little scared right now because I'm about to put my brand new GoPro Hero 5 into this water. I really hope it's as waterproof as they say it is. All the doors on it are closed. Still running. So you don't need a case on it if you're snowboarding or if you're surfing or anything like that. It's good up to 33 feet, which is pretty amazing uh, for having doors and stuff on it. One thing I found was the doors can be a little tricky to open, uh, especially the one on the side where the USB ports are. Uh, the battery door on the bottom, you just gotta push inside and it's not too bad. And that's also where the micro SD card goes. On the back of the Hero 5, there is a very responsive touch screen. There was also a touch screen on the Hero 4 Silver Edition, uh, but the Silver Edition couldn't shoot at the same capabilities as the Hero 4. So this one, you have all the same shooting capabilities as the Hero 4, plus the touch screen on the back. And the touch screen makes it really easy to adjust your settings on the fly. And you can also see how you're framing your pictures and videos, which is very handy. Um, because with the Hero 4, you could only do that with your smartphone if you had it hooked up via Wi-Fi. So that's a huge advantage of the Hero 5. The internal stabilization of the camera is also quite good. Uh, we have a couple tests where we tried it out. One where someone was running and obviously it's still quite shaky. It's not like being on a gimbal or something like that. And then one while I, where I was trying to keep it fairly steady while walking. And it does make a quite a bit of a difference over not having stabilization. Um, one of the things that I found online is that it only crops the frame by about 10% in the stabilization, so this is nice. One disappointing thing about it is that they changed what USB cord you use. So the other one was the same as like PlayStation 3 controllers and a lot of hard drives and stuff like that. This is a new one I haven't seen before. I'm not sure why the change, maybe it moves data faster or charges faster, uh, but it does make all the old cords that I have unusable. A really nice feature of the GoPro Hero 5 is that it shoots raw photos. Uh, with the small camera on the DJI Phantom being able to do that, it's not a surprise that GoPro now released that as well, especially with their drone coming out soon. The raw photos are really nice because it gives you a lot of control over the colors and the light or dark in them, as well as the shadows and the highlights. Another feature it has that they added is voice control. So you can tell the GoPro to start or stop recording, to take a photo, to highlight, as well as a couple other simple commands. It is fairly limited, but it's very handy if you're not holding the GoPro or if you can't hit the on button. So for example, if you have it on a helmet mount or a head mount or just on a tripod and you're not right near it, it is nice because you can tell it to start recording or stop recording. They also added GPS to this camera, which I would personally not use. I have it in my DSLRs and never really use it, but it can tag where your photos or videos are taken. So if you're traveling a lot, this might be cool if you can't remember where you took certain clips. Another feature is the one push record. So if your camera's completely powered off, 
you can hit the record button to start taking a photo or video without having to turn the camera on first. So you simply hold the button and it starts the camera up and starts recording right away. This is a cool feature if there's action already happening and you want to get recording as quick as possible. Overall, I'm quite impressed with the camera. If you already own a GoPro Hero 4, I'm not sure if it's worth upgrading since the video settings are pretty much the same. If having a camera that's waterproof without the heavy case is a big benefit to you, then it's worth it. For me, the touchscreen's a huge advantage. I like being able to see where I'm shooting and uh, how I'm framing my pictures and video. That's probably the biggest reason I would upgrade to the 5, as well as the ability to have a waterproof camera without a case and take raw photos. Those are definitely, I think, the biggest advantages. Other than that, uh, there isn't a ton over the GoPro Hero 4. The 4 definitely had a lot more advantages over the 3 than this one does over the 4. It'll be exciting to see how well the GoPro drone and handheld gimbal does. Be sure to subscribe for future reviews of gear and other exciting videos, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.